How do you feel about playing Simpson? I mean, I know, I know the story, so I read it from the Bible. I've watched plenty of movies, and Simpson is a is a very um he's a very wise man, right? But he makes a lot of mistakes. Because he, 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 he only focuses on his own intelligence to get him out of the situation. But he does trust in the Lord. So that's one thing that makes him strong. Because he gets his strength from God. But he, he's always, you know, following his own way. And, you know, his anger and his, his rage. God used it to deliver the Israelites from the Philistines. But at the same time, his lust got him into many traps. That's, what, that's where his enemies got him the most was you know through his enemies through delilah um through his first wife you know and the harlot all the time that he was trapped was when he he, he got trapped and bust first so that's always something the devil tries to trap mostly men with so Samson's biggest problem is just his lust and two his um his ego his ego is one of them but playing samson it feels like you know what i mean <laughs> I feel strong, you know. I feel like Samson, you know. But I also love that God has always been with Samson. He's never left Samson, even till his death. God still granted Samson his last um, wish. Well, not wish, because God's not a genie. He, he granted Samson his last um, um, prayer was for him to regain his strength, and I, I find that very, very um, honorable that God would do such a thing. He's still faithful even to the end after all that Samson did, you know, because God told Samson, don't cut, don't cut your hair, you know, don't even tell people that this is where you get your strength. And he, you know, snapped and told Delilah, you know, so that was, he sinned against God. Not only by that, he sinned, he sinned by going to different women, harlots and everything, but God still forgave him and God still loved him at the end of the day. And it was still a good ending, even though Samson died. Well, I don't know, if, <laughs> am I spoiling it? I'm spoiling it by saying that. Okay, okay. I mean, y'all should have read it. Judges. Before y'all watch the movie, read read the story first. Judges. Judges 14. Start reading from there, and you'll get the whole story before you even watch the movie. Matter of fact, while you watch the movie, get the Bible next to you. So you watch it along. Because this movie, we try to make it as authentic as possible to, to the original scriptures, you know, especially King James Version. So, everything you're seeing in this movie is basically what's written in the Bible. So, I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you guys <laughs> love this short film. There's more to come. Oh, yeah. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And share. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Oh. Be afraid, I am the angel of the Lord, and I come with good news. You are buried, but you will have a son, and the Lord will give him strength. But you must not cut his hair, or give him wine, for his strength will be in his hair, and he will deliver Israel from the Philistines. Let me go see you. Somewhere right here. Ah, there he is. No, do not bow to me. I am only an angel. Let us make you some food. 
Even if you force me, I will not eat. But make a sacrifice to God with fire and wood and an altar. How will we train our son? Do not cut his hair and do not let him drink wine. We are going to die. We just seen God. If he wanted to kill us, he wouldn't accept our sacrifice. There's something I've been meaning to tell you. I think I found the girl. What's her name? Tara. Very lovely. Is she from our village? No. She's from Temna. Temna? A different tribe? Yes. Find someone in our village, Samson? Mother, she's different. You're going to dishonor this family. Oh my goodness. I don't want to dishonor this family, my father. But I have to follow my heart. Oh, oh my Lord, goodness. You guys will never understand. <sighs> Why is it always a different child? <laughs> Still a child. Please.
let this Hebrew marry a Philistine. Right, disrespectful, man. I have an announcement to make. First off, I want to thank you all for coming today and to be a part of our celebration with me and my beautiful wife. <laughs> Again, I say thank you. And I appreciate every single one of you for coming. But, I have a riddle. I have a riddle for you. Anyone who can solve this riddle within seven days of the feast, I myself will give you 30 linen garments. But if you cannot figure out this riddle, you will give me 30 garments. You have seven days to find this riddle. And this is the river. Out of the eater, something to eat. Out of the straw, something sweet. than a lion and was sweeter than honey. <laughs> they will never find it out. Now stop bothering me. Huh. If I knew you were just annoying, I would have married you. <laughs> Bill Sides, I found the riddle. Well, what is it? Samson could have lied and ate honey from his carcass. So it's sweeter than honey and stronger than lion. Now leave me alone. Ah. <laughs> Hebrew! We found your riddle. What's sweeter than honey? What's better than wine? You will not have found my riddle if you don't mess with my head first.
Samson. Hey there. Hey. How you doing? What do you want? I'm here for my wife. Your wife? Yes. I'll take you head high, you live. What do you mean? Yeah, I'll give you to somebody else. What do you mean? Oh! They will pay. They will pay for what they've done. Come here, Foxy Fox. Trying to kill us all? Do you not know the Philistines are over us? 
Let us hand you over to them now before they kill us all, Samson. Promise me you will not kill me yourselves. We promise we will not kill you. We will only bind you. Look at you. Where do you even get your strength from? You call this man strong? In the hand of the Philistines? Well, not no more. He's dead. Oh, see, so he didn't flinch. That doesn't matter. Because he's dead. I get my strength for my God!
Did you give me this? Did you give me this victory? Only for me to die. Of thirst. Did you give me your servant? This victory. Only for me to die of thirst. Drink from the trough, Sams. With the job went over donkey, I've killed a thousand men. Close the gates and shut them down. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Something's not right. Why is it so quiet? Tried to lock me in. Oh, Philistine. Mm. Oh. Open the gate now. Oh, lock me in. They tried to. Oh, they tried to ambush me. Lord, 
sin against you, Lord. Be there. You have always been with me, Lord. You have never left my side. I worship you and bless your name. God of Israel, faithful, true, strong, and mighty. Is it a surprise? <laughs> <laughs> Look, we're not here to harm you. Look, we have a deal with you. We know you with Samson. Want to know where he get his strength from? So, every one of us will give you 1,100 pieces of silver if you entice him to tell us where he gets his strength from. So, so do you agree? agree? <laughs> so Samson, tell me where you did great strength from. If you tie me with two new ropes that has never been dried. Then I'll be as weak as any other man. Mm. <laughs> Alright, so, did you find out? So he told me if you tie with two new ropes that have never been dried, you will become weak. So, come to my house, stay in the closet, and when I tell you to go out, come out. Okay. to me. Why could you just tell me how you're subdued? Fine. If you tie me to new ropes, then I'll be weak as any other man.
me now how you can be tired of me subdued. <sighs> if you tie the seven locks of my hair to the bedpost, then I'll be weak as any other man. Okay? Hmm. Again. What is wrong with you, woman? Samson, how do you say I love you? And you can't tell me the secret of your strength. secret to my strength. Ever since birth, a razor have never touched my head. I've been a Nazarite since birth. If I ever cut my hair, I'll be as weak as any other man and I will lose my strength. Okay? Oh. Come here. He told me the truth this time. I can tell. I'm someone with his whole heart. Be in my house by noon.
upon you! Ain't no kidding in this one. What'd you do? What'd you do? Nice work, Delilah. Last thing ever seen. That killed thousands of us. Now he's in our hands because of our God, Dagon. All hail Dagon! 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 All hail Samson, our God Dagon 
has delivered him to us. Let me die with the fist of us. Oh! 